Most of you know by now that we have new Epic Rift Watcher summoners coming to the game that we know the abilities for, and in this video I wanted to do a little theory crafting and go over a few cards that I think will pair well with one of the new summoners, Aquatus. I'll give you my thoughts briefly on why I think the cards I mentioned could be powerful when combined with the summoner. Understand more cards are coming along with the Rift Watchers that could change things up a lot, but I just wanted to have a little fun with what knowledge we have available now. To give you a better idea of dodge chances and maybe how well backfire could work, I found an article with a formula for evasion here. So it's basically the speed difference times 10. If you have dodged, that's another 25% increase to your dodge chance. If you have flight, that's another 25% increase to your dodge chance unless the enemy that is attacking has flying or you have been snared. And the blind ability increases evasion chance or dodge chance by 15%. First, let's talk about a few cards that go well with Aquatus and the Reverse Speed rule set. Backfire in this rule set can make Wave Brood very hard to deal with, and once Void is gained, it can take a ton of damage, especially if it's backed up by a healer. I think this will give it way more opportunities to dodge attacks throughout the battle while dishing out some damage. Rahilo the Frozen is another slow monster that would perform well in this rule set. With the backfire ability and both of these monsters will be very hard to hit since they have one speed all the way to max level. Now I'm just going to go over some cards that I could personally see doing well based on my experience playing. But I play mostly in Silver and Gold League, so if you guys have any different experiences or opinions on what cards would go well with Aquatus, let me know in the comments. Geno, Shaughness's Void, Phase, and High Speed make this card an excellent choice to be paired with Aquatus, and it will be a great in the frontline position or secondary position, which may be the better placement for it because it'll be the perfect counter to any snipe monsters. Whether it's range or magic damage, doesn't really matter. It's going to have a huge advantage against those, and now Backfire is going to add some damage to the, any misses that he gets. River Nymph is a good mention, and its biggest addition to Backfire would be the swiftness ability that it gains at max level. And that's just going to boost uh, your lineup's chances of dodging the enemy's attacks. Bogjira isn't that fast to get a ton of dodges on his own, but the slow ability does make him pretty useful for other monsters under Aquatus. And if you add in a couple swiftness cards, Bogjira has the health pool and the uh, healing ability to draw some misses, most likely, throughout the battle. And it pretty much turns a meat shield card into one that has some potential damage output. Diamond Shark is a beast when enraged and has a high chance of dodging. Just on his speed alone, add in backfire and it could become pretty scary against the melee or range focused lineup. Because if the enemy misses, it will take some damage from backfire and even if it hits, uh, the Diamond Shark has a chance at retaliation. So that would just be more damage. Of course, Diamond Shark falls off when facing a magic heavy lineup. so. His use case would be a little more limited than a card like Oshanis. Phantom of the Abyss is pretty expensive, uh, but he is one of my favorites and still worth mentioning because like Diamond Shark, when facing a melee focus lineup, this card will be a monster and will be so hard to hit unless you have like another flying card on the enemy team or maybe a snare to bring its dodge chance down so you can hit it. But of course, if they have a magic heavy lineup, it won't be that much of a problem. Flying Squid will be great to pair with Aquatus because he has the blind ability which increases the chance of dodging by 15%. This card also has a high health pool allowing it to take more damage and that means more chances to get dodges in. Giant Squid, while maybe not as good as the Flying Squid, does add an extra blind to your lineup, so he could be a decent pickup, especially since it's the only blind usable in modern Silver League. Pelicor Bandit is so cheap that I couldn't leave him out. Plus, I don't know if you guys ever played with this card, but 
he dodges a lot. I uh, got a resurrect on him, and he had one health and dodged like four extra times before he got knocked out. So if he would have had backfire, he could have done a lot of damage there. So yeah, pair with Aquatus, this card's going to be pretty good. Supply Runner is a neutral swiftness card that will be a great addition to your lineup in a lot of different situations. A slow from Bakjira, double swiftness from River Nymph, and Supply Runner could make backfire pretty brutal for the enemy. Chaos Agent already gets backfire at max level, but happening at lower leagues from Aquatus will help to unlock this card's power. And Phase will help this card gain misses against magic monsters, kind of like Oshanis has, so I think this will be a really good pairing with Aquatus as well. Just as a side note, Byzantine Kitty is going to be a pretty hard counter against Aquatus, so when he drops, make sure to look at your opponent's lineup, and if they're using Kitty, maybe avoid using Aquatus for that round. That's all guys, thanks for watching.